Kose, Department of Physics, University of Kerala. Now I am going to describe how to plot the given XRD data and how to index the peaks. Here we are using the OG softwares, OG Pro A version and the ICDTS PDF files for the comparison of user object. And first, we have to plot the given XRD data on the OG Pro A version. Select the Excel data and right click copy. Now we have to copy it on the Origin Pros graph book. Take the Origin Pros graph book, select the AX and BY columns, right click and paste. But we want to delete certain data that is. We only want the angle and intensity values. So delete all the other data. Select it on it and right click then delete. Now we get only the angle and intensity values. Now we have to write the log name as angle and the B of Y as intensity. The unit of angle is in 2 theta and that of intensity in counts. Now we can plot it. So select the AX and BY columns then go to the graph icon and click on it. Now we get the plot of given XRD data. We can resolve it in a better way. For this, double click on the vertical bar and change the horizontal scale from 10 to 80. And also click on the title and format icon. Now mark the top axis and the right axis. The bottom and the left axis are also shown. So now click on OK. We get it in a better way. Also we can modify it in a another way. We can place this bar on the within the curve and we can write the sample's name that is we are given the sample NIO. NIO at 800C. This is the plot of given XRD data. Step 2 is indexing the peaks. We have two equations. The Bragg's law is 2D sin theta is equal to L lambda, where D is equal to A by root of X square plus K square plus L square, where HKL are the Miller indices. Using these equations, we can index the peaks. At first, we have to identify the peaks. So, click on the analysis on the menu bar, go to fit D, then go to fit multi peaks. Here, we should given the number of peaks. Since there are 5 peaks on the curve, we are given it as 5, then click on OK. We should double click on the peak center. First peak center, second peak center, third one, fourth one, and the fifth one. Now click on OK. Now we get all the five peak centers that is 37.22, Note the peaks and compare it with the given XRD Excel file. So we have to go to the Excel file. Here Note the peaks which match with the earlier data which has greater intensities. So, we get 
the first peak of 37.22. Compare it with on the given data here 37.2105 got the maximum intensity. So it is the first peak. Now we go to the second peak that is 43.25. Here 43.25, 43.22664 got the maximum intensity that is 6388. So, this is the second peak. Now, the third peak that is 62.84. Go to the 62.84 values. Here, 62.86238 got the maximum intensity values that is 2613 so it is identified as the third one now the fourth one we earlier noted as 75.37 and compare it with the given data that is 75.31227 it, it has the maximum intensity 979 now the last one that is 79.36 here, the 79.32298 got the maximum intensity 741. So it is identified as the last peak. Now we have to tabulate the given data. So open it, Excel, Excel. And first row, we write it as 2 theta. Which is in degree. In the next column, it is theta. And then degree. Third column, theta, and it is in radian. Now the fourth column, it is sine theta. Fourth column, next column, sine square theta. Next is ratio, other one is k factor, next is x square plus k square plus n square, next one is hkl. obtained data we get the HKL values as follows. Now we have to compare it with the ICDDS PDF then go to the JCPDS file for the NAO cubic structure. Here we got the HKL values that is 111, 200, 220, 311 and 222. That is, it is in agreement with the experimental analysis. So, we can mark it on the origin pro curve. That is, take the origin pro graph and mark the million pieces on the corresponding peaks. For this, take the text box. 
first count is 111 then next count is 2 200 and the third one is 220 and the fourth one is 311 and the last one is 2 2 that is we mark the miller indices on the corresponding peaks that is we have we are plotting the given xrd data and marks the miller indices